All right. Um, we're here at the Work Truck Week. And first of all, what a fantastic booth. It's Thank really you. great. Um, but, you know, uh, Blue Arc is kind of a new addition for me anyway. Would you walk me through where you guys came from? Yeah, absolutely. So we're Blue Arc is our go-to-market brand under the shift umbrella. And that's really covering all the EV solutions that comes in from the class three, the class five chassis, the new uh, generation walk-in van body. What we are launched today or unveiled is this our cap chassis that we can be able to service new markets uh, and to support that EV transition. And uh, really the Blue Arc started out as us working for years trying to find an EV solution to, to, our, to support our customers transition. And every time we worked on a program, ended up not going very right. far because of when, you know, scale, uh, the performance, the specs, and always felt like we're trying to shoehorn something that didn't really belong. Right. And so Blue Arc was that, hey, so let's go back to the drawing board. And that's where we did something from the ground up as an EV solution. Well, and I think that's really the key, isn't yes. it? You guys have built the chassis. Absolutely. And um, and that gives you that control over it. And it's three to five, which is a really important segment right now. Yes. So what does it look like right now? Is this actually a vehicle that I can go buy right now? No. So this class five cap chassis is our first proof of concept right now mm -hmm. that we obviously unveiled here at the NTA show. The class three and the class four light will go in production Q3 of this year. Okay. And that you can buy this year uh, starting out in Q3. And, uh, and and moving forward into four, the class five and the cab chassis and all the other iterations will be available next year for Wonderful. For and um, so yeah. there's been a lot of talk about how fast adoption will happen, right? But it sounds like you are taking um, some of the challenges out of the out of the out of the discussion. Yes. Which is you know range and etc. Can you talk a little bit about what the specs are. Yeah, absolutely. So the three things we focused on when we started designing this truck was one has to be modular, not one size fits all. Our customers always, the, the theory is that the right vehicle for the right route. Mm -hmm. Two, you gotta be able to do different ranges from 100 miles all the way up to 250 miles. So we make yeah. sure that check that box. Two, the payload on these trucks critical and a lot of the new EVs are really having they're struggling with payload right. because the batteries are heavy, taking right. more payload off the, the truck. So we wanted to make sure we have something comparable to the ice and three, the cargo. So being able to support the different body sizes and being modular from 12, 12 foot all the way up to 20 foot mm -hmm. is key because our customers look at this as cost cube per dollar, right? So I'm moving that much cubes. What is this costing me? How do I run it? And of course it's got to be efficient. Right. So by us going and saying, okay, we got to take weight out of the truck. We got to take the complexity out of the system to be able to scale it and not have to mm -hmm. go back and retest and redesign every time we right. want to put a different pack. So we offer this truck with three different battery packs to fit different customers and applications. The body is the same thing. Like I said, it goes from 12 to 20 footer that goes, puts us up to all the way to thousand cubic feet. Wow. Which is very impressive in an yeah. EV space. And the thing that we wanted to make sure we accomplished was the system efficiency. And that's by reducing the weight and reducing the rolling resistance. So the new ah. EV trucks are experiencing uh, premature tire wear. I've heard that. And what I'm hearing from customers, they're chewing through tires about three times as fast they do yep. on an ice truck. And that's due to the heavier trucks and when used tires are not suited for an EV application, you have a lot of flexing due to the weight that yep. creates more heat, that creates uh, tread wear. And more torque. Yes, more torque, more regen. So we were really focused to work with Goodyear and Michelin and other companies trying to come up with the right compound oh, on the great. tires to get the best rolling resistance. When you see our announcement mm -hmm. yesterday came out, 200 miles at a 45 right. MPG, super impressive for a truck this big. Right. And that's tested with snow and mud tires, 50% payload, and we ran it through the paces. And so we're pretty happy with the performance of the truck and how we packaged everything and still be able to give our customers the tool that they can use. So if I want more information, what would you recommend that I do? So first you can go to our website at blueark.ev.com, the okay. shift website, and be able to check out the information, the spec 
And there's also a contact form that you fill it out, will come to our sales team. Mm -hmm. They will be able to reach out to the customer. And that's what we really pride ourselves into. It's a work-driven design. So we don't right. just make trucks and hope that somebody would buy them. We actually focus the to the truck through the application and the uh, end use case. You're speaking my language here. I love this industry because it is so much about the use case, yes. the geography, right? Yeah, and, absolutely. And the ROI. Sounds like yes. you've got it all covered. Yeah, it's got to make sense. Again, at the end of the day, it's got to be practical, cost effective, because people are always focusing on the large fleets and they have deep pockets and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But there's also a lot of small contractors that can't afford, right? Uh, you know, expensive trucks that want to be able to transition from ICE to the EV. So we're working with a lot of our partners on the finance side, on the leasing side. Great and try to make sure that we have a product that actually can scale and the small contractor that runs two or three trucks can buy this truck and, and take the benefits of the EV transition. Well, we're gonna see a lot of you on convoy.com then too, because yes. convoy is all par is primarily targeted to the mid to small fleets yes. and educating people on what's important to make these decisions is even part of it, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So we have a TCO model calculator oh, that great. actually it's an interactive uh, simulator. So you and I can sit down and I can put down your truck, your load, how many stops, uh, what's the outside temperature, how much accessory load, and we can do the route mapping and we mm -hmm. tell you exactly what kind of range you get in different environments and also calculate your TCO model right next right. to it. So if you're running diesel or, or gas, we're able to tell you, hey, here's what you're paying up front, here's what you're paying with ice, and here's the differentiators and how that's how that's much you're gonna fantastic. get back. So, Again, it's about, like you said, the education and getting customers to understand what they're doing. And how to help them do that transition. Absolutely. Well, yes. I'm really pleased to hear all of this and thank you very much for oh, talking with us today. It's my pleasure.